Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2022 as we continue our Journeyman and Glory Hunter run with Newcastle United. And things have been going not super great in the league so far. Uh, again, we don't really care, but we do kind of care because we don't want to be embarrassed, I guess. Uh, but today we've got the doubleheader against Rangers. Let's see if we can at least do better against them than we have in the league. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in game. Um, I mean, to be fair, we've only had two games since the last episode. And one was a win. <laughs> but it's the loss. It's the one that's like, ah, my goodness. Uh, we lost six to nothing to Man United. Uh, Holland picked up two goals. Rashford a goal. Romero a goal. Fernandez picked up a penalty. And then Fofana. They took care. Actually, they, they got us five to nothing before halftime. Yeah, they just completely decimated us. In this game, which is pretty sad considering we beat them 4-2 in the community shield. Now, I don't know. Did they play all their star players? Probably not. So, maybe kind of a little bit of that. Truth be told, Man United is just absolutely dominating the league this year. Uh, 24 goal differential on 22 points. Eight games. They're averaging a three goal differential per game. Um, we're down here in seventh. So, again, we're not doing super great as far as overall things are concerned. I mean, we're only three points behind Watford and Tottenham, to be fair, but... I, I, I care, but I don't care. Like, I don't want to get embarrassed, but at the same time... And we do want to qualify in the top four. We do want to get back in the Champions League again next year. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let's get into this game today. Uh, we are going to try a different tactic again today, just because not so much that the other tactic was bad, although it was bad against Man United, but that I just want to see what this one does. You know, and I think against Rangers, it's a good time to try it out. Uh, actually, actually, I'm sorry. We did try it against uh, Arsenal there. Uh, and I actually didn't tell you to go over the Arsenal game. Uh, we did try this formation against Arsenal, and we beat them three to nothing with a pair of goals from Nwachuku. Not no Nwachuku. Um, with a pair of goals from. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Give me a second. Sorry, just one second. Uh, with a pair of goals from Sampson, and <laughs> did that save? I don't know if that saved or not. Uh, and a goal from Isak. So. Three, you know, our strikers definitely over, overpowering Arsenal there, which is actually pretty good. Three nothing against Arsenal. Arsenal's a good team, uh, so that actually felt pretty good. Did that save? Yes, it did. Good. So Samson here, in there. So here's the team we're bringing today. We have Conde in goal, Lamptey on the left, Sambo on the right, Kambula and Levi in in the middle, Kessie and Iglesias holding up our midfield with Sevilla playing a shadow striker. Good to have Vieira back, uh, and of course Essek, Samson and Luca as our three strikers right now. Although O'Neill Murray. Murphy, sorry, O'Neill Murphy could come in there at any point. Uh, we're not playing Sancho right now, but he could definitely come in for Vera as well. So we have some good players sitting on our bench right now with this formation, but I feel mostly good about this. We'll see what happens. Um, let's get into this. Do you think I want to change? I don't think so. I think we're good. Let's get into this, see what we can do against... I mean, it, it, we should be winning against Rangers. Not to say Rangers is a bad team. Rangers is a good team. We're just, we should be a better team. So, and this being a home game, uh, we definitely should be winning the home game part. I could see Rangers keeping it close uh, away from home when we're in their their stadium, but at home in front of our fans, this, sh this should not even be close in my opinion. We'll have to keep an eye on that uh, Monaco-Milan uh, game because the winner of that game is going to be the one that we're being this can be the most competitive against us, I think. I guess they would be playing each other twice. Well, since we're playing Rangers twice, they'll be playing each other twice. So we'll see how that header head, heads up, or ha how that matchup ends up. Actually, we probably would rather them just both win a game each or something like that, or I guess draw both games would be even better. Um, early highlight here for Rangers, though. Come on, guys. All right, there's Levi right there. Sambo back to Levi, all the way back to the goalkeeper, up to Kumbala. Kessie with the ball, gets it back to Levi. Come on, guys. Push, push up. I mean, we should be just completely overloading their defense with four attacking players up there in the middle. Although we might be uh, a little weak on the wings. Kessie with the ball, gets it up to Isak. Isak's going to go for goal. Oh, he gets tripped up. He should have had that one. He was, he was in a good spot. I think he could have scored that one. There's Iglesias, though. Uh, good save. Uh, 
Another highlight right away. There's Kumbala down to Kessie. Kessie gets it up to Vieira. Over to Iglesias. Come on. Luca with the ball. He's got some space here. He goes for fans, I guess. I don't know if you can say that was going for goal or not. I saw his mom in the stands and he was like, hey, mom, here's the ball. Um, Kumbala to Kessie. Isak with the ball. Back over to. There's Lamptey on the left hand side. Come on, Lamptey. Welcome back, my friend. Welcome back. Kessie with the ball. All the way back to Kumbala. Guess we decided that attack wasn't good enough. Cassie over to Vieira. Vieira gets it up to Sambo. Oh, so good to get a goal from your uh, from your defenders. That's, can't argue. When you've got three strikers on the field and your first goal comes from your wing back on the right-hand side, we'll take it. We'll take it. Really, honestly, well played. I mean, he... Let the goalkeeper make his first move, and he just lobbed it over him. All right, corner kick coming in from Vieira. Luca. Oh, yes. Oh, he's back to his old tricks again. 11th goal of the season for Luca already. And there we go. Just like that, up to nothing early in this game. Right, here's Sambo with the ball. Gets it up to Luca. Luca back to Sambo. Over to Vieira. Back to Sambo. Up to Luca. Luca gets it across to Isak. Isak's got some space here. Oh, he's going to have to get it back to Lamptey. Lamptey, I think he was trying to go for goal there for a second there. Sambo with the ball, though. He, oh, wow, he gets freed up. Like He got a pause for a second. Some space leveled up. Lamptey not able to get that one in there. Come on, guys. Another highlight. Goodness, what is with the highlights today? Samson down to Isak. Up to Vieira. Vieira. Oh, he gets tripped up big time. They are just all over us today. Sambo over to Cassie. Cassie to Isak. Lamptey. I mean, sure. I'd be calling you a hero if that actually went in, but no, <laughs> it didn't. So, uh, Levi with the ball. I mean, I, thankfully all the highlights seem to be going for us at the moment, but anything could happen. Luca, oh, that one just gets big time deflected. Speaking of highlights could go the other way. Here we go. Oh, Cassie, got to be careful with that, buddy. You already got a yellow card, my friend. Levi with the ball. Gets it up to Iglesias. Iglesias up. This X not going to be able to get that one time, unfortunately. Little too much. Little too many Wheaties. Do people even eat Wheaties anymore? Is that a thing? Do Wheaties even exist? I don't think I've seen Wheaties anymore. They're probably, they've got to be out there somewhere. I just, I don't think I've seen them in forever. <laughs> Iglesias with the ball. Oh, Isaac. I was going to say Isaac's in the right spot right there. I was like, if he gets it to Isaac, Isaac 100% scores. And he did. Good stuff. This, this is the team that we were seeing last year. Now, again, it, it is against Rangers. Don't get me wrong. But, um, Monica only beat Rangers by two, and Milan only beat Rangers by one. So, if we can, I mean, this 3 nothing right now is feeling really, really strong. And we're, we're, our overall stats are just looking really good. Diving catch by McCrory. All right, there we go. Come on, guys. I think the big thing is that defensively, we still feel pretty good um, with this formation right now. There's Isak. He's going to get it back over to Lamptey. Lamptey up to Luca. He's offsides. That's okay. Wasn't he? Was he not? Looked a little offsides to me, but... Maybe there's another player in a different spot that I wasn't looking at at that point in time. How is he not offside? Who was playing him on? Was it the guy over here on the right-hand side? That must not have even been close. Wow, it, it looked close to me. 
Well, shows what I know. Sambo throws it in. Luca with the ball. Back to Iglesias. Iglesias up to Luca. Down to Sambo. Up to Luca. Over to Vieira. Oh, that was almost such an incredible series right there. Vieira. Corner kick coming in. There's Luca. Oh, so good. Luca is so good. We love you, man. We love you. I mean, this is starting to look a little bit more like the team we saw last year. I mean, I can't, I can't say too much for it because, you know, we've only played, this is only the second game we've played with this formation, but three, nothing against Arsenal and then five, nothing against this team so far. Feeling a little bit more what we've been, what we're used to from last season. And we've got good players. In fact, we should, for all intents and purposes, have better players than we had last season. It's like over to Glacius. Easy, easy. Iglesias go right there. We are just absolutely taking it to him. I haven't seen the Monaco Milan score show up, so they may, maybe they're not playing today. Or maybe they're playing later today or something like that. Who knows? Vera with another corner. Luca! Oh my goodness. Oh, he's got a hat trick from headers. And he's got another goal on top of that, doesn't he? He's got four in this game. Oh, he's so good. He is so incredibly good. Another one. Don't get is he gonna get another one? I was gonna say, come on. Let's 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 calm him down a little bit, guys. We don't wanna we don't wanna Rub it in their faces too much. Let's not give up a goal here, though, guys. We fought too hard this game to give up something. Defense deserves their bonuses. Isaac, over to Samson. Oh, I was really hoping Samson would get one, though. Oh, <laughs> Fiera! Heads up play. Not quitting on that play. Came right to him and buried it. I can see Samson gets deflected over there. Yeah, just Vieira, just all over that one. All over that one. Obviously a huge error from uh, Skullion or whatever his name is, but credit for Vieira too. I mean, he, he, he was right where he needed to be and he was paying attention. Okay, um, yeah, well... I mean, what do you do at this point? Uh, I mean, I'm going to start doing some subs pretty early here. Um, let's definitely get some of the yellow cards out. We don't want people to get thrown out of here. We'll get the Glacius out first. He's the more important of the two, I believe. Are we getting another highlight already? Is there like, come on, mercy roll, guys? Come on. Mercy. <laughs> Sambo, back to Luca. I mean, after getting stomped by Man United 6 0, I sure hope the boys are enjoying this one. Sambo with the ball. Oh, it's sack. Man. I mean, it'll be all for nothing if, like, can we, like, divide this up, guys? Just, we only needed three goals to make us feel good about this game. Let's, let's, let's keep two-thirds of this game reserved for later, guys. Come on. Let's not use all of our awesomeness in one game. Oh, we're going to get a penalty. Uh, who gets the penalty? Uh... If somebody's on a hat trick, is Isak on a hat trick? About to get one? Or has he already got one? That might be his hat trick. I can't remember. <laughs> yep, that's his hat trick. Okay. So now he's got his hat trick. Luke's got his hat trick. 
Everybody gets a hat trick. All right, let's do another sub here. I mean, we'll go ahead and bring Cassie out. I, again, I just want to make sure we don't get any unnecessary red cards. If we can help it, we need these guys for the duration. Although we don't really need them for the next game, to be fair. Not if we play like this. <laughs> wow. Sambo. About to get him a second. All right, let's get Lamptey out of there. He's coming back from injury. Drop it back positive. Maybe that'll... I don't want to overburn the guys a little bit. We'll see if they'll slow down the pace a bit here. 38 shots, though. Goodness. 39 shots. Can we get 40? We're about to. If we're this highlight means anything. Levi over to Palmer. Palmer just gives it up. Oh, there's Gutierrez. Back over to Palmer. Over to Gutierrez. Come on, guys. Don't give up a goal. Not this late. You can get a goal this late. I don't find mind that, but don't give one up. Play too hard for it to give a goal up this late. All right, I'm assuming this is just a final whistle highlight for whatever reason. There we go. Wow. Wow. We absolutely dominated. Wow. Vieira on a 10, Luca on a 10. Isek on a 10. I mean, what in the world, guys? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Can we keep that? I mean, we got to play like that all the time, though. We've got to play like that all the time. Um, looks like Milan and Monaco have not played yet. So we'll see how that goes. Man, Zebra. They whooped up in their game as well. Perfect 10. Got some money. Always good to have some money. We need all the money we can get. All right, we will be right back for game uh, number two against, obviously, Rangers again, away game. We'll be playing Fulham, Burnley, and West Brom between there, though. Um, none of those am I super worried about. Last time we played Burnley, we beat them 7 nothing. Fulham, West Brom, we should be able to take care of business. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but we'll be right back for game number two. All right, we're back for the second game. Uh, so far, so good. Um... As you guys can see, we did go up against Fulham, beat them 5-3, to three, although, you know, a little bit worrisome that we gave up a hat trick to Pantano here. But we did get a goal from Livermento, Luca, Sancho, Sampson, and Isak. So all of our strikers, basically, um, and Sancho got a goal as well. Um, and then we went up against Burnley. I played pretty heavy rotation in this game. Kind of hoping we would lose in a weird way, but uh, we beat them 3 to nothing. So we got a pair of goals from O'Neill Murphy and a goal from Lenardo, Lenardi, obviously, who... Uh, who hasn't really played for us much for us lately? Uh, we then up against West Brom, another relatively heavy rotation. Uh, we got a goal from Sampson, a goal from Lenardi again, a pair of goals from Phillips, and a goal from Luca. So looking pretty good still since we've uh, changed formations. I mean, obviously, from Arsenal on is this new formation. That's a lot of goals, guys. That's a lot of goals. I mean, again, there's three. I would I would feel better if it was one, one, and one. You know, something like that. Three in one game. Little, little worrisome, but uh, so far so good. Uh, we're back in fourth place in the league right now, um, so we're back where we want to be in that top four. Uh, again, without trying, I, I don't want to try super hard and get us injured or anything like that. But if we can stay in that top four, I'd be pretty happy. Now, speaking of injuries, still cannot get over the injuries. We got Kessie and Vieira both out with injuries. Vieira out with fractured ribs for up to two weeks. Kessie out with a groin strain for up to two weeks. So. Injuries keep coming, uh, even though I'm doing pretty good rotations on guys that look like they're injury risks. I kept setting them and stuff like that. They're still coming. I think both of these came in training, actually. Oh, no, no, sorry. Cassie came in a game. Vieira, I think, came in training. So, ugh, it is what it is. 
we'll keep on keeping on and we still got a good team though i'm not i'm not worried about the team we have uh here's the team we're bringing today for a game number two uh obviously conda and gold gutierrez comes on the left livermento on the right with kambula and levi in the middle iglesias and stevanovich hold up the midfield with sancho coming in as the shadow striker isak playing on the left we are going to be sitting uh luca today he's uh you know, high overall is risk of injury, so we're going to sit him for today. O'Neill Murphy comes in for him, and then Palmer holding up that false nine spot. Any reason to change these guys around? Not really. All right, we'll leave that as is, and let's get into this game, see if we can get another good performance today uh, against Rangers. I mean, we don't need a 10 nothing performance, but it is away from home. And we don't want to, we don't want to suddenly turn things around and, like, play to poorly. We still want to play well, but... Uh, we don't need 10 goals, guys. Just a couple, and we'll be happy. Let's get three goals, and then, you know, coast it in from there. We are on a five-game win streak. Feeling pretty good about that. We are in second place, though. Um, so, yeah. It's like, a, is that Monaco playing right now, or they have already, they already played? It said they played, but I think that might be playing right now, actually. I'm not sure. We'll check here in a second. There goes the fan noise again. Gutierrez with the ball. Over to... Make sure it's not my head zones. No, I can still hear the, him clicking the ball around. Stevanovic gets it up to Livermento. He's going to be able to get on that one. He's got several guys in the middle. Isak! Oh! Gets right past the defender. Isak's there waiting. Oh, uh, Honestly, we haven't seen much of Livermento this season. Um, but he's good. I mean, obviously we know he's good, so it's good to see him back in here. Yeah, and, and, and Tonson misplayed that one big time. We are refereed by a known. Come on, guys. I did say I don't want 10 goals necessarily, but let's get at least a couple. <laughs> we don't need just one goal either. I'll be nervous the whole game. All right, there we go. Good takeaway. Kumbola back to Conde. Gets it up to Levi. Levi over to Livermento. Just running with the ball. He's got some space there. Gets it back to Sancho. Sancho gets it up to nobody. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we should have capitalized on that one big time. Big mistake by the goalkeeper. He got lucky there. There's Iglesias with the ball. Gets it over to O'Neal Murphy. Cross to Isak is there again. Stevanovic. There we go. Another goal with an assist from Isak. We just look like we are overwhelming the defenses with this formation. All right, guys, come on, let's keep it up. Oof. I was going to say, let's not give one up, guys. And United is up against Club Bruges. Uh, Atletico Bilbao and Benfica. Are tied. There's Salzburg and Bayern both. Oh no, Bayern back back up again. FC Bayern. All right, only two nothing at halftime. So a little bit less, you know, crazy than it was in the last game. But we don't we don't need to win by ten every game. Looks like uh, Livermento is a little bit tired. We'll keep things going for now. Oh, Man United's up three nothing on Club, Club Rouge now. All right, first sub of the game here. Um, yeah, let's get some yellow cards out of here. Get Iglesias out of here is pretty important to us. Eh, whatever. We'll bring Samson in. That's fine. If he can play midfield, give him a chance back there. Stefanovic up to Palmer. Palmer gets it up to Livermento. He's got a couple guys in the middle. There's Isak. Oh, good save. Levi up to Iglesias. Iglesias over to Gutierrez. 
It's got lots of space. Get him, get him plenty of daylight over there. There's Iglesias. Gets it across. There's O'Neill Murphy. Oh, he would not, had to go too far for it. Oh, Stavanovich, almost. All right, let's get another sub out of here. Um, I mean, if Sanjo's got a little bit of a knock and he's got a yellow card, we'll get him out of there first. Vitna can come in for him. It's got to have these guys that are so flexible they can play all over the field. Oof, good, good save there, Palmer. Right, throw one from Livermento into O'Neill Murphy. Cross, there's Isak. Not able to get that one, man. They've kind of definitely shut us down a bit here, haven't they? All right, we'll go ahead and get Livermento out of here. He's the most exhausted. Two more minutes, guys. Come on. I mean, we've, we've got a lot of shots and a lot of on-target shots in this game. Just not getting them in the goal today like we did last time. Stavanovich with the corner. Gets across. There's Ondo Milfrey. Uh, he's not able to get on that one. He's going to go out of bounds. Only a 2-0 win. Still a win, but... Should have been more, to be fair. Should have at least been three. But we'll take it. So we are on top now. And it does look like Milan must have lost. So we are up by three points over them. With obviously we've got to play the Milan and Monaco game still. Ah, we're definitely in control. Oh, Sancho. I'll leave you to the physio. All right, well, that's it for today's episode. Um, not bad. Next game's up will be Monaco in Milan. And, uh, yeah, we definitely want to get out of this this group, you know, at the top if we can, because that'll help us out a bit going forward in future rounds. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.